Hello students, welcome to the lecture series of Automata Theory. So here, today the topic that we are going to learn is Turing machine. We have already made a, a video on this Turing machine where we understand how, what is a Turing machine, how do we solve it with the one example. So here I am taking more examples to be more confident and practice more. So let's take a second example on the same that is construct a Turing machine to accept all the palindrome over the alphabet A, B. So when I say all the palindrome, palindrome means uh, you know you have some string and then the reversible string coming there. So uh, I can say the language can have some odd palindrome uh, as I have given up and some even length palindrome can be like this because here AB is same as BA, BB is same as reverse. Yeah, here AB reverses BA and in odd we have some extra letter in between. So as we can see here this is reverse and this is extra letter in between whereas here we just have single word and then the reverse of it. Yeah, so this uh, I have just written what are the different strings that can come in this language. Now I will try to solve with the tip simulation. Okay, so let's try to do that. So I can see in tip simulation, I have a string like A, B, 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 A. So, I am taking this particular string over here. Okay. Now, what I am doing is, I will say uh, my cursor is at the, or the pointer is at the first uh, starting of the string, that is at A. So, I will read the first character, whether it is a A or B, I will replace it with a blank. Okay, and then I will reach the end of the string. To end, reach the end, I will just go to right, right, right from all the letters. Once I reach blank, I'll come to know that I have reached the end. So once I reach blank, I'll just go to left of it, and there I should find the similar character. So here I just found an A in the beginning. Now if the, at the end there is A, then only I'll cross it out and make it blank. So I just match the first and last character now. The same process I'll repeat for others as well. So from here I'll go to left, left, left till I reach a blank. And once I reach a blank, I go to right of it. Now here I find the next character and next combination. So now I get B. Again I go to the end of the string to check the one over B. So similarly in this way we will be checking it out. Okay. So um, let's try to write down the simulation uh, or the diagram or the transition diagram for the same okay so now in transition diagram I'll start with state Q0 and as I said if I find A I will replace that with blank here, here I replace A with the blank and I move to right so what I'm doing is if I find a A I'll replace that with blank and move to right and then I go to Q1 so then I should be going to write, write, write till I reach the last letter that is blank. So I have to skip all that is coming between. What will come in between small a? So keep it as it is and just skip it. So move to write. In between I can get b. Replace with the same and move to write. So I am skipping and I am just moving ahead from here in this way. Once I reach the blank I should stop. So once I reach the blank, I am changing the state. So if I reach a blank, keep it as it is and move to the left of blank. Here at this state, I should find the matching A because the first alphabet was A. So last of, uh, the last character should also be the A. So if I find a matching A, then I am going to another state. So if I find a matching A, I replace that with blank and then I move to left. That is here if I find a matching A, I replace that with blank and I move to left. Then again my return journey starts to go to left till I reach the blank. Okay, so what I am doing there is here I am just saying that if you get A, keep it as A and go to left. If you get B, keep it as B and go to left. So this is just the return journey to reach the start of the string and once I reach read a blank then I should stop and go to right of it yeah. So once I reach blank what I am doing is once I reach blank I am going here actually. So once I reach blank I will keep it as blank and go to right of it. 
so now on right of it again i will get another combination say for example next combination is b right so then i will just replace this b with the blank and again i'll start moving to right 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 till i reach a blank so the same thing we are doing here so now i reach q0 on q0 i'm checking if i get a b so i will here the first line i made for a second line i'm making for b if i get a b i will replace that with blank and move to right and then i'm just moving right 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 till i reach a blank so that means i'm skipping so many a's and so many b's and once i reach a blank i'm stopping there so if i get a blank i keep it as it is and move to left of it and then i am checking whether i am getting the same character small b so if i get a same character small b replace that with the blank and move to the left that means here if you get a matching b then you replace that with the blank and move to the left again till you reach the blank this way we are just matching so here i am just doing the self loop and here I'm, again i am reaching with the last loop there yeah so i've done for a and b now what will happen if it is a odd palindrome for even palindrome i will go to q0 and i'll stop there okay so let's see here now we can see here for even if the string is even so first a i'll replace with blank i'll move to right <clears throat> and then on blank i go to left matching a i move to blank i replace with blank again i go back to the left and then this blank i go to right here b i'll replace with blank i go to blank again left of blank this b i'm replacing with blank then i'm going left and i found this blank remember so i move to the right of the blank so here when i move to the right of blank i'm getting a blank that means i'm reaching <clears throat> i'm reaching state q0 and i'm getting a blank so when you go to q0 and you are getting blank that means it is a even palindrome and successfully identified so at q0 if you are getting a blank what you should be doing you should be accepting for the even palindrome okay so how do we write it i can say on q0 if you are getting blank keep it as blank move to right and just accept the string that is called as a even palindrome so whenever you have a even palindrome you will accept from this side okay sometimes a question will come only for even palindrome so your this diagram is complete okay but sometimes you will get only odd palindrome okay and sometimes you get all type of palindromes like how today we got the question for all type of palindrome that means odd and even both but sometimes you'll get only single uh, you can they can say even then your diagram is complete if they say odd what is the change that we have to do yeah so now let's look at the step simulation of odd so when i reach this if you see the first step simulation when i reach this particular b here okay i move to the right of this yeah so what i'm doing i'm actually moving to the right of this so here what i'm finding is i'm finding a character yeah but there is no matching b but i don't know there is no matching b here so when i find this character what i should be doing properly normally so i should be just cancelling out yeah and i'll replace that with the blank and i'm going ahead okay so what will i do i am at q0 actually so i am replacing that yeah so i'm i'm just going here i'm replacing that with the blank and i'm moving ahead and i'm uh, skipping all the a and b and i'm looking for blank so i get a blank in the next position only because the next one is also a blank yeah so i go to left of it that means i am at this state now right so when i am at this state what will happen uh, uh i go to the left of blank and here left of blank is also a blank but i am looking for a matching b but there is no matching small b i get a blank there so if you get stuck at this particular point or this particular point that means you read a a or a b 
and there is no matching a and b available now you are getting only a blank that means it is a odd palindrome and you should be accepting it as a odd palindrome okay so how do we accept a odd palindrome so here at this point and at this point you are going to final state if you are getting blank okay so if i am getting blank i keep it as as it is move to right and then i'm going to final state so if i am having an odd palindrome i will be entering the final state from one of the two lines so if the question is for even palindrome you just draw the line which i have done for even if it is for odd you just draw the line which i have done for odd rest all of the lines you have common for both the palindromes okay so i hope you understood and if it is a all type of palindrome odd and even both then you write the complete diagram as i have done so finally i'm just numbering all the states so this way i have numbered my state this is my transition diagram so type simulation and language we should it should be doing always just to have a proper idea so sometimes if your logic is also um, correct in your type simulation and you made some mistakes that can be considered yeah so it's always a good practice to do the type simulation hope you understood this let's see the next example now okay now consider the question this Construct a Turing machine to accept the following language. The language is given as a comma b star followed by a b a. Then again a comma b star. That means it is some word x which belongs to a comma b star where x contains a substring a b a. That means overall my language is something which is having a substring a b a. Now if you just observe this, don't you find that this is a regular expression or a regular language? so a regular language or a regular expression uh, we can solve using dfa and fa so something which is solvable by dfa and fa is easily solvable by turing machine because this is more advanced machine okay but still if the same question comes for turing machine how do we go ahead with that so i can say these are the strings that can be acceptable by the language so that can be uh, substring a b a right so here just substring a b a here something before a b a here something after a b a here something you no know, um, maybe yeah before okay so anything can be coming before and after both okay so i can say that l is a regular language and we can draw dfa for recognizing l as below so i'm just drawing a simple dfa for this regular expression which is very much easy here yeah? so this is a dfa that i have drawn to accept the strings containing a b a so i don't think i need to explain because we have already done this in the previous videos okay so now what i have to do to convert it to turing machine so i'm just drawing this string now so that is a a b a but uh, others are just surrounded by blanks so if i start with say for example blank that is the beginning of the string okay so what will i do i will go to the first character okay then i'll read it then i'll go to the next i just read it go to the next read it go to the next read it go to the next read it once you reach the last blank then you stop so what i'm doing here is i'm just moving from left to right i'm not applying any logic i'm not replacing any character with anything else because this is a very common logic if it is solved by dfa you can say so dfa uh, doesn't use anything any logic it just travels your string any word if it is given to you say for example aba it just travels from left to right so i need to do the same thing in the turing machine because the logic is already taken care in your transition diagram so you need not to take care of the logic in your type simulation so here i'm just passing through the string from left to right and skipping all those things so i hope you understood how we do the type simulation so i can say it travels only left to right once and that's it so now i'm making transition diagram for turing machine so here what i have to do is i just have to do exactly the same diagram as we do over here but i just have to surround it with some blank symbols in the beginning and the afterwards okay so first of all i'll copy the same diagram let's see how yeah so if you can see this is a turing machine that i have done here so can you just correlate with this diagram see what i'm doing is wherever there is a a i'm replacing it with a because if you see in the type simulation i have not changed it yeah so if it is a a i'm replacing keeping it as it is and just moving to right 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 so any symbol that i'm getting a or b 
I'm just keeping it as it is and I'm moving to the right. Okay, so what I'm doing, if it is A, keep it as A, move to right. If it is B, keep it as B, move to right. Same thing I have turned over here and I have drawn the same diagram. Now what extra I have to do, I have to start from the blank and then move to the next. And at the end I have to reach blank. So these two things I am just checking properly. Yeah. And that's why what I am doing is I am adding blank before and after this transition diagram. So what I am doing is I am just adding Q0 here and on blank keep it as blank and move to right. Okay. And then at the end what I am doing is if it is a blank keep it as blank and move to right at the end. Because start and end, there should not be any extra characters that we should be checking. And that's why I'm checking blank before and after. So there are no extra characters before and after your string that you're passing between Q1 and Q4. And then finally, Q5 is the accept state, which will accept it. So I hope you understood this. Now, if you see, uh, there's a one thing, one tricky thing that you'll find over here is, uh, normally DFA, when we make, uh, we, there's a compulsion, na? here are two symbols, hai, A and B. So, sare state mein se A and B jana hi chahiye. Yeah? So, yahan pe sare state mein se A and B ja raha and this is complete. Lekin if you just look at the Turing machine, Turing machine ke paas teen symbol hai. Small A, small B and capital B. So, capital B jo hai, wo koi koi state se nahi ja raha hai. Yeah? So, all the states are not having all the symbols going out. So, you can say ki this is not valid, we have to show. So, wo sab reject mein jayega. Jo nahi ja raha hai, wo sab reject mein jayega. Barabar hai. So, in Turing machine, whatever that goes to reject state need not to be shown. If you just avoid it, then also it is okay. Yeah. So, if uh, I say that uh, Q1 says capital B kahi nahi ja raha hai, to matlab wo reject hai, to uske liye wo aage hi nahi proceed karega. And the string will stuck there and it will just reject it. That's it. Yeah, so itna diagram of banareo. If you're not showing any reject transitions, then this is correct. Don't worry about it. Okay, so this is the solution for the given question. So we can avoid the reject states as it is a Turing machine. Let's take a next example. So the next question is construct a Turing machine to match properly the nested parentheses. Um, what exactly is this question about? Let me tell you about that first. So they are saying that if you have some opening brackets then there should be some closing brackets so I can have something like this something like this so for this opening bracket this is a closing bracket for this opening bracket this is the closing bracket for this there is the closing for this opening there is a closing so if it is nested properly then it should be accepted but if I have something like this then it is not properly because there are two pairs which are proper but the, for one of them there is no closing bracket so this should not be accepted this is what the question is asking about. For this parenthesis, we need only one memory. Yeah. So whenever we need only one memory, uh, we can use it with a stack. And that's why the same question can be solved using PDA as well as Turing machine always advanced than PDA. So Turing machine can obviously solve it. But PDA can also solve this question. So you can find this question for both of them. Yeah. So let's now try to solve it for the Turing machine. For PDA, it's really very easy. But now we are focusing on Turing machine. So let's try to solve it in for the Turing machine. Okay, so how am I doing in Turing machine? This is a tab simulation. I have written a string there. So I'll start with the first symbol. Yeah. So what I'm doing is whenever I'm getting an opening bracket, I'm just ignoring it. I'm moving to the left. Again, uh, there's an opening bracket. Okay, ignore it and move to the left. Once I get a closing bracket, that is important for me. So that closing bracket, I'm replacing with some character, say for example, X. Okay. And then I'm moving to left till I find the first opening bracket. So here I get the first opening bracket. Yes. Then you stop there and replace it with the X. So I just found one pair of opening and closing. And then now I can just move, start moving to right 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 again so from here i again move to the right and then keep on going in right direction so this is a logic let's try this with the turing machine transition diagram so what i'm doing in the transition diagram as we see in the first very first if i get a opening bracket i'm just ignoring skipping it so opening bracket i'm keep it as it is move to the right but I'm interested in a closing bracket. Okay. So when I get a closing bracket, I'm moving to some another state. Okay. So if I get a closing bracket, I replace that with the axe and I move to the left. As you can see here, I replace the closing with axe and I move to the 
left so this is what I'm doing here then what I'm doing once I move to the left then I'm just checking for a matching opening bracket so there I find a matching opening bracket so once I find a matching opening bracket for that closing bracket I replace the opening bracket with X and move to the right as you can see here when I find a matching opening bracket I move to the X and move to the right so on the right what I'm doing I'm again checking coming at Q0 again I'm checking for closing bracket so once I get a closing bracket what I'm doing here is Again, I will replace this closing, say for example, now next I find this closing bracket. I will replace this with X. Okay, let's see here step by step. So I'm replacing this closing bracket, this closing bracket with X and I'm moving to left and I'm at Q1. Okay, so uh, I want to move to the left. Now I'm moving to left. I want to find an opening bracket. But what I found here is X. Yeah, so X can come in between the way. So you have to just skip it. So how do I write it? So here at Q1, if you find X, keep it as it is and move to the left. Because we are not interested in X. And once I find a matching opening bracket here, as you can see, I'm replacing that with X and I'm moving to right. So once I find this matching opening bracket, I replace that with the X and then again I move to the right. Okay. So this is what I'm doing over here as you can see okay so when I'm moving to right now again on my way I find finding some X so if you're finding X you just keep moving right till you find a closing bracket okay so here in the way I can find X at Q0 I will just skip it as it is and I move to right so this way I'm handling all the closing and opening brackets once I'm done with all the closing and opening brackets, say for example, you have some closing bracket here, you turn it with X and then you move this with X and then you turn all of them with X and then you move to right, right, right and somewhere at some point you find this blank when you move to the right. Okay, so what will happen? So that time you will be at Q0 when you get a blank symbol. So what you will do there is... At Q0, if you get a blank symbol, keep it as it is and move to the left and go to state Q2. Why I'm doing this? Yeah, I'll just explain you. Because see, once you reach this particular blank, what you have, what is that? Ki hamara string to finish ho gaya. We can say we are done. But we have to cross check one thing. Ki piche koi opening bracket to chuta nahi hai. Ya koi extra character to chuta nahi hai. So we have to move all the way left till I find the another blank that means I am cross checking the entire string and now in this written journey all of them should be X only if something other than X is there then the string is not accepted are you getting this so what I'm doing is once I get a blank I'm moving to the left that means I started my left journey from here yes now what I'm doing is I am trying to um, skip all of them yeah so what i'm doing if i find x keep it as x move to the left till i find a blank symbol so if i find a blank symbol i move to the right of it or left of it that doesn't matter at blank and then finally you go and exit that means i have the string only with the x in between okay and this is your final answer hope you understood this if you have any queries please ask me in the comment box now let's take another example. Consider a Turing machine to divide a unary number by 2 and quotient and remainder to be separated by a blank. First of all, the question is with respect to a unary number. What is a unary number where we have only one digit? So that is a single one I can consider. I have given a unary number. Say for example, the unary number given to me is this. That means it is 4 number of 1s, that means the number is 4. So that means the number is 4. I have to divide it by 2. That means I divide it by 2. Whatever is the quotient, that is the answer and the remainder I have to show. So here the answer is 2. So I show it as 2. And there is no remainder. If there is a remainder, I have to give it after the blank. So right now my answer is this. If the number given to me is 7 number 7 times 1, that means the number is 7. And if I do 7 by 2, I get the quotient as 3. That means the answer is 3 and the remainder is 1. So, remainder is 1. How do I show it? Separate them by a blank. 
surround them by a blank so this will be the answer so this is what my task is now i'll make a turing machine for the same so what i'm doing is i'm starting with this one say for example so i'm replacing this with the some symbol x and then i'm finding going right 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 and i'm finding the blank that means i'm reaching the end of the string once i find a blank i go to the left of it so there is a matching one for it so for the matching one i'm replacing with blank because when i divide by 2 i have to write the half the number if it is 4 i have to write 2 that means one number you have to skip and that's why i'm replacing the last one with the blank and first one with the x again i'm going back till i find x next to x i find some another number again i'll replace that with x move to the right till i find blank to the left of blank i find a number i replace this with blank this i'll do for all the pairs so what i'm doing i'm at q0 and once i find one there i'm replacing that with x and moving to right and then i'm skipping all the one that are coming in between okay and i'm just finding the blank once i find a blank i'm keeping it as it is but moving to the left of it okay मतलब लास्ट वाला नंबर देखेंगे सो लास्ट वाला नंबर अगर वन है तो उसको हम लोग क्या करेंगे इफ़ इट इज़ वन आई एम रिप्लेसिंग दैट विद द ब्लैंक एक एक्स होगा दूसरा ब्लैंक होगा और फिर उसको हम लोग लेफ्ट में जाएंगे अब ये लेफ्ट वाला जर्नी जो है वो कंटिन्यू रहेगा पूरा लेफ्ट में जाएंगे जब तक मुझे एक्स नहीं मिलता है सो वट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम मूविंग ऑन वन बीच में वन आएगा उसको वन ही रखो लेफ्ट में जाते जाओ वंस यू गेट अ एक्स मुझे एक्स के कहाँ पे जाना है एक्स अगर मिला तो उसके राइट right में जाना है सो दैट मीन्स वंस आई गेट अ एक्स आई शुड बी वंस आई गेट अ एक्स आई कीप इट एज इट इज एंड मूव टू द राइट ऑफ इट ओके सो दिस इज कंटिन्यूइंग फॉर ऑल द पेरिस ऑफ वंस ओके नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन नेक्स्ट इज सो हियर नाउ इफ आई से दैट देर इज दिस पर्टिकुलर वन आई रिप्लेस दिस विथ वन x and this i replace with blank again i go back here this is one i replace this with x i go to blank and i move to the left of blank to find another one to make it as a blank but here i find x only so i will be reaching which state now i found one here okay in the transition diagram then i replace that with x and then i found blank okay i move to the left of blank and now i am at this state so i am at state q2 and i got stuck here that instead of finding 1 i am finding x so instead of finding 1 if you are finding x that means that is a odd number and it will give you one remainder okay so how do we handle the remainder jitne bhi x hai utne number of ones chahiye uske baad hum logo ko ye extra wala jo one hai wo aage shift karna hai that means this x i should now replace with blank because beech mein ek blank aana chahiye na to isko blank banana hai hum logo ko this will be blank and the next wala one banana hai jo blank hai usko one banana hai so at q2 i have to take this call so how do i handle it at q2 jo x mere paas hai usko main blank banaungi aur uske right mein jaungi and here i go to another state फ्रॉम हियर मुझे आगे सारे ब्लैंक मिल रहे हैं बराबर है उसमें से एक ब्लैंक को मुझे वन बनाना है सो वन ब्लैंक आई विल मेक इट एज वन दैट इज़ अ रिमाइंडर जो मुझे आया है ओके एंड देन आई गो टू क्यू फाइव सो दिस विल गिव मी माई क्वेश्चन सेपरेटेड बाई ब्लैंक एंड देन अ रिमाइंडर ओके समटाइम्स यू विल गेट अ केस वेर यू डोंट हैव दिस इवन नंबर्स से फॉर एग्जाम्पल फोर सिक्स ऐसा कोई नंबर है इन दैट केस आपको ये बीच वाला नंबर ही नहीं आएगा so what will be the case in that case if you go back from here if you say at q0 aapko ye one hi nahi mil raha because aapke sare match ho rahe properly so aap q0 pe hi stop ho gaye so when you stop at q0 you have a even number and there is no remainder agar remainder hi nahi hai to udhar hi stop karna hai so how you handle it from q0 what you can do is you can directly go from q0 to this q5 And you can say ये blank आया है तो उसको blank ही रखो अभी उसके left में जाओ okay मतलब उसके x के वन and x के बाद आपको blank आएगा and then you stop it there itself yeah so this is how we can take it for odd and even number and to handle with or without remainder after we are done with all मतलब मैंने सारे x या b में convert कर लिए okay मैंने uh, remainder को भी separate कर लिया अभी जितने भी x मेरे दिख रहे हैं ना वो सबको मुझे वन करना है ना बिकॉज दैट इज़ अ यूनरी नंबर वन so i will just start going to the left direction what i'm doing is i'm i'm just stopping here somewhere 
सो so, यहाँ से मैं लेफ्ट जाऊँगी सारे एक्स को मैं वन 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 करूँगी और वन से रीच ब्लैंक आई एम स्टॉपिंग दैन बिकॉज इसके आगे तो सारे ब्लैंक है ये मुझे पता है आई यू गेटिंग इट सो वट आई एम डूइंग इज एट क्यू फाई आई एम एट सेल्फ लुक ऑल एक्स आई एम कन्वर्टिंग टू वन एंड मूविंग टू लेफ्ट एंड वंस आई रीच अ ब्लैंक एट द लेफ्ट मोस्ट मतलब ये हाँ पे एंड ऑफ स्ट्रिंग या स्टार्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग है एक्चुअली सो यू कीप इट एज ब्लैंक एंड देन यू मूव देन यू गो टू द फाइनल स्टेट क्यू सिक्स सो विद दिस या डन सो हियर वी आर कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर ट्यूरिंग मशीन वन मोर एग्जाम्पल इज देयर इन द अदर वीडियो सो प्लीज डू वॉच इट इफ एनी डाउट्स एंड कमेंट्स प्लीज आस्क मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स बिलो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग हैप्पी लर्निंग